Well, this is gonna be my first YouTube video ever, and we're gonna be baking because that's what I like to do. So we're making a apple crumple. I never made one before. I normally just wing this kind of stuff and hope that it tastes good. Right now I'm snacking on some Girl Scout cookies. But yeah, we're gonna make an apple crumble today, so. All right. Lacanto baking mix. If you don't have this, you can just use regular flour. But basically this is just like a higher protein, lower calorie version of flour. Any type of sugar-free sweetener, sugar-free syrup, I need to get all purpose flour. Right, we also need brown sugar and butter. We need butter, salt, cinnamon, all purpose flour, salt, cinnamon, apples, obviously, two eggs, Faye Greek yogurt, 0%, and I'm using two Honeycrisp apples. I probably could do more than this, but I'm just gonna use two. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. This is the baking dish I'm using and it doesn't say what the size of this is. So I, I, I don't know, sorry, I can't help you there. I, I don't fucking know. I did already put this recipe together in my fitness pal so that I have some measurements to go off of. So let me pull that up. Also, I do make a lot of recipes and you should be able to search them in my fitness pal. It'll like just search Lark's and then whatever you're looking for and it should come up because who the fuck else is naming something Lark? You know what I'm saying? Like, so Lark's apple crumble. If you look that up, it'll come up. All right, so the way that I calculated this is for 12 servings, 160 calories a slice, seven grams fat, 22 grams carb, five grams protein. That's so far, unless I change something in the recipe. Also need vanilla extract. There's so many fucking things, butter, I need butter butter. I'm going to do the dry ingredients first. So I should also probably have baking soda and baking powder in it because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I wing everything. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. It's baking. It's supposed to be fun. It won't be fun if the recipe turns out like shit, but <laughs> that's just the risk that I'm willing to take. Okay. So let's start with our baking mix, the Lakanto baking mix. I'm going to do two servings of this. I'll put all of the ingredients on the screen or in the um, caption, so don't worry. But it is on my fitness pal if you search Lark's Apple Crumble. Okay, two servings of this. Cool. Next, we need all purpose flour. I'm gonna do a cup and a half. But I'm not gonna do the whole half cup because I'm gonna save. Some of that for when we make the crumble topping. So I'm doing a whole scoop, a whole cup of all-purpose flour now. I can tell you how many grams this is in a second. Like about 150 grams. And then I'm not gonna do this entire thing. Like I said, I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there and the rest I'm using for the topping, so. All right, that brings the total to 180. I put 180 grams of all-purpose flour. The rest of this is going for the crumble topping. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side. Sorry, you can't fucking see what I'm doing. I don't know how to, to do this yet, okay? Other dry ingredients, cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon, I love cinnamon. And then I'm gonna just, I, I don't measure this type of shit out. I guess I should, I will. <laughs> this is half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of, not quite half a teaspoon, I don't need that much baking powder because there's already some in the Lakanto baking mix, so not quite. And then I'll do half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, that's all our dry ingredients. And I'm just gonna mix that up. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't wait to eat the batter. That's like my favorite part, is licking the bowl clean. I know you're not supposed to do that, like, because of the raw egg, but I feel like everybody does it anyway, so, you know. Oh, wait, fuck. I need to do the stevia. Forgot that. I'm going to do half a cup. Half a cup has flour in it, so this is a three-fourth cup thing. Actually, I'll just use the one cup. And I'll 
just do like half. All right, cool. Remixing. Putting that off to the side. I'm huffing stevia. Okay, now I'm gonna do all the wet ingredients. So, serving of the Faye zero percent fat Greek yogurt. Oh, it has this like weird cover on it. Like, why do they fucking do that weird shit? I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for it, but it's fucking weird. Okay. So a serving of this is 170 grams. That's like pretty much perfect. No, wait. Two eggs. Nice. Eyeballing vanilla extract, however much makes you happy. Three, I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of salted butter. I got Nova a new little like cat home tent cave type thing and she's loving it. She's loving it, thank God. It was 50 bucks. I always worry when you buy cats like cat beds and stuff because they're so picky. And I'm like, if I spend $50 on this and this fucking bitch doesn't go in it, I'm gonna be pissed. But she's using it, so I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna melt this butter. Okay, this is too hot now and I don't want it to cook my eggs, so I'm gonna let this sit on the counter because it's fucking steaming. So, I guess like mix this up, sure. Mixing up the yogurt and the eggs and the vanilla. That's what it looks like. It's actually kind of disgusting. All right, that's good enough. So now I'm gonna cut up these apples. First, I'm gonna clean them. I clean them with distilled vinegar. And then I'm gonna cut them all up and that's gonna be the most time consuming part. I love that you love your new bed. She's so cute. I'm gonna show you. I have to show you because it's just adorable. Do you love your new bed? Princess. Princess Noit. This is the little thingy I bought off Amazon. It was 50 bucks. She loves it. All right, back to baking. Back to baking. If I can set this back up right now. Washing these. Ow, God, I have a fucking cut on my finger and it's burning right now. Ugh, I don't like that. Yeah, you can't really see this, but I'm just gonna cut them up into like, I don't know, little squares. Little pieces, I'm cutting them up into like little squares. Ooh, that's a good apple. This part's pretty like self-explanatory, you know? I'm excited for this. I feel like this is gonna be really yummy. And I'm craving some baked goods right now. I hate cutting stuff, it makes me nervous. I have cut my fingers so many times, cutting things. You think I would like just learn how to do it properly by now, but <laughs> I haven't. Oh, aren't you supposed to like skin apples before you put them in shit? Well, it's too fucking late now. Fuck it. Yeah, I think you're supposed to take the skin off of apples before you bake with them. Like just for texture purposes, but I don't really give a fuck. So there's no rules to baking. There really isn't. It's just a matter of having fun and doing what you want. So yeah. All right. A lot of apples. I'm gonna put these all in here. PSA, apple seeds are very poisonous to cats because they have cyanide in them. I'm gonna do three servings of this sugar-free syrup. About, actually maybe I'm just gonna do two. I'm just gonna do two servings of this. Cinnamon. And I'm also gonna do some sugar too, like fake sugar. This is fake brown sugar. Put some of that in there. 
I'm making so many dishes. Mixing all this up. Syrup is gonna make this, like, the apples really good. Throw all this shit out. Butter should be pretty cool by now. I'm gonna pour that in here, in my wet mixture. And now I'm gonna put some of my dry. And I'm gonna have to add milk to this too. I really don't have much of this left, but but we don't we don't need that much, so it's fine. I might have to use some water too, actually, because I don't have any more coconut milk. I don't think I added salt. I mean, there's salt in the butter, but whatever. I'm gonna add in some water. I would have done more milk, but don't have any more. You want it to be a consistency that is kind of like pancake batter, maybe like a little bit thicker than pancake batter. My arm's tired. Looks like that. It's like pretty thick. Let me taste it. Um, I mean, it tastes good. Need a little bit more water. All right, cool. God, my fucking arm hurts. Now I'm gonna add all these apples in. Should I do all of them? Yeah. All the apples going in. Folding these in, kinda. This is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to eat this. Cool. That's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna spray my pan with Pam. Pan has been sprayed. And I'm gonna pour all this in here. I'm tired. Baking is fucking tiring. Yum. It's pretty fire. All right, now we're gonna make the crumb topping. I'm gonna use this bowl to put the rest of my flour in <clears throat> that I saved earlier. And then cinnamon. And then I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm so bad at math, somebody please help me. I have to really think about this so I don't fuck it up. All right, this is like 58 grams. Annoying, I have to fix this now. All right, I did 56 grams of brown sugar. Now I gotta melt more butter. Doing three tablespoons of butter for the topping. Butter looks like that. Now I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm just gonna use my hands to mix it up. I probably melted it a little bit too much, but it's fine. It's fine. And now I'm just gonna drop the crumb topping on top. Basically just try to put it on there as evenly as possible. Obviously eat it, you know? Wow. Here it is. This is what it looks like. It's gonna go in the oven on 350 for an hour. I know that's a long time, but yeah. All right, I'm pretty sure it's ready. So we're gonna shove a toothpick in it and find out. It smells so good. I'm so excited. Holy shit. Oh, brother, you see that? Holy shit. It's like the best part of my entire day. Look at this. It's like bubbling. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's done. 
in there for an hour. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna cut it up. All right, I know the lighting is horrendous in here, but I'm gonna cut this up now. I try to do 12 even squares, so. One, two, yeah, okay. Cool. I need like a big piece. I'm not gonna do a corner. I'm gonna do this piece right here. Um, yeah, I think it's slightly undercooked, but you know what? It's all right because it's still gonna taste really good. So here it is. It definitely should have been cooked longer. Tastes really good though. Very good. All right, that's pretty much it. It's my first YouTube video, so. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see me do on here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. There will be lots of baking, some fitness stuff, some just general talking, vlog type shit. That's it, hope you enjoyed.